what firefighters are saying about the shooting death of a longtime colleague. That's where we begin this afternoon. The wife of a well-liked fire captain is in custody in connection to her husband's murder. See Pickett is live right now at 5 from University Park City Hall where Captain Bob Pointer worked. I talked with uh, his chief of this department about him. This is a small family. When you talk about fire departments, only 35 individuals make up this fire department here in University Park. Tough knowing that this man was murdered for most of them, obviously. These firefighters also know the man's wife and another man now are both accused of this murder. On Bob Pointer's Roy City block, neighbors stunned by the violence avoid cameras, but say the father and fire captain's home life seem fine. In the center of the city today, attention turned to plans to build a new baseball stadium for a semi pro team. The mayor and others at that event declining to speak about the murder in their small town. The only indication of grief and tragedy came from this marker placed at the site where Bob Pointer died. Police arrested Pointer's wife, Chasey, on a conspiracy to commit murder charge. This man, Michael Garza, turned himself into Hunt County deputies. He's now accused of playing a role in Pointer's killing. Roy City PD says Pointer, a veteran firefighter for University Park, was shot in the head on this dirt road. Chasey Pointer, they say, made conflicting statements. I know Bob, we know Bob very well. For close to 20 years, Bob Pointer worked to save lives and save structures from fire in University Park. The town's fire chief didn't talk about a murder investigation today. He talked about the father of three, the man who recently vacationed with his wife, the man who spent decades with this fire department. Uh, he was very gentle. He was a big, strong man. He could take care of business. He's just a great man. He was, he was pleasant to be around. He was enjoyable to be around. He was encouraging. Um, he, he never was shy about sharing his enthusiasm about his job. Chief Howell did not talk anything at all regarding uh, Mr. Pointer's home life, any relationship there. He didn't go there, if you will. He talked about this man's professional work here and obviously the response of people here to his death. We have requested uh, from Roy City PD arrest affidavits regarding these individuals. That information may provide some insight into their possible relationship and connection as to why specifically they're both in jail on this murder. Reporting live, Steve Pickens, CBS 11 News.